Here's Dan. Thank you everyone for hosting this event. And I think it's great to have this discussion with our, our a couple of our rival council ca uh, candidates here. Um, I want to thank uh, Ruben and Layana and Elaine for being here. And most of all, I really need to thank my wife Maureen for being here. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be able to do this. Not only because of the support she's giving me, but because she is my campaign manager. <laughs> and everyone will tell you, your campaign manager works harder than the candidate uh, does, and that's certainly true in this case. So uh, to answer the question about why I'm running, I need to start talking a little bit about the city of Davis. So people don't live in Davis by accident. We are, by design, an intentional and thoughtful community. And living here is very much a choice. It's certainly not cheap, and parking downtown can be a big hassle. Um, but our community has a collective commitment to some very important things, like open space, livability, education, diversity, family, global health, our individual health, and sustainability in a number of different ways. And so all of us here who live in Davis share in a great wealth. Maureen and I, like many of you, chose to quite deliberately to raise our family here. It's a safe place and it had great educational opportunities. Um, and because our kids were raised in this community, our sons grew up surrounded by people who gave back, who cared for others, who had a feeling of responsibility for the greater good of this community. And so we're proud that our own sons mirror those values. You, it's, there's no better gift for parents than to see your kids grow into adulthood, for you to come away with the feeling that at the end of all of that, that they're going to make the world a better place. So we're really blessed. And so when people ask, why are you running for city council? There's only one answer. It's to make sure that we remain this remarkable community into the future. Now, there are concerns. There are challenges, and they're real ones. We're looking at an $8 million a year funding gap. And unless we take action, we won't have the resources to maintain the services we all like and to fix our streets and roads and bike paths. Um, there's substantial housing pressures in general on our community, and affordable housing in particular is a great challenge for us. And even in the best of circumstances, how we address those needs, needs causes tension with other things that we as Davis sites value highly open space, preservation of agricultural land, keeping the small town feel of our community. Um, here's another challenge. UC Davis is looking at another expansion. The campus benefits immeasurably from its relationship with the city of Davis. And our city's youthful energy and the unique vibe that we have here is very much a, a result of the fact that UC Davis is at the, at the hub of this community. However, an expansion will add significantly to the budget, to the housing problems I just talked about a moment ago. And finally, we're lucky to be an experienced, engaged, and very passionate community. It's awesome, and it's so much better than the alternative of apathy that you do see in some other communities. Uh, and finding agreement amongst our passions is sometimes very difficult. Go down to one of those council meetings some Tuesday night, and you'll know what I'm talking about. I call out these four particular challenges because bridging them with respect, open-mindedness, fairness, and common sense is the only way we preserve this amazing community we love. And so while it may not be easy, we have no choice but to act. So here's what I promise as a city council member. I will always reach out to listen and learn to every perspective. Not everyone feels comfortable going down to City Hall and testifying in front of the City Council. I promise to go to every neighborhood and to every segment of our community and to try to understand how City Hall can work better for them. I will use the full depth of the experience I've had in four dec decades hanging around state and local government as a reporter and then a fiscal analyst to build common ground and mutual benefit so we can move forward. As a longtime veteran of the state LAO and the chair of the Finance and Budget Commission, I strongly feel we need to implement a balanced and comprehensive plan to fix our city finances. I'll work with our council and staff and our community members to make that happen. And long, thoughtful, long-term planning has to be a, a, an important part of this process. 
as UC Davis alumni myself, a community member and a parent, I'm passionately committed to building an open and inclusive process to understand what the university's needs are that relate to this expansion, to understand how those overlap and impact the concerns of the citizens of the city of Davis, and to work on an open and collaborative process to, to resolve these issues. I was here for the last contentious process, and I promise you, this time we're going to do this differently. So I look forward to working with you, especially if I'm elected, to build a stable foundation to ensure that Davis remains committed to sustainability, to education, to family for generations to come. Thank you.